I got another quick one for you real quick. Quick one for you real quick, 2008 Ford F-150. Customer is complaining of a misfire that doesn't happen all the time. And no check engine light either. So if we go under code scan, uh, this is gonna go ahead and scan every module in the car. And uh, we're gonna see if there's any codes in there. But I already test drove this. Uh, got no codes, the only code we got is a P1000, which means somebody clear the codes. Ignition key and circuit fault, not worried about that. Um, I'm worried about the engine. Let me just go ahead and start this real quick and show you that the check engine light is not on. So the car's running right here, it's idling pretty good, but it's only under a test drive that it starts misfiring and it doesn't do it all the time. It's a very rare misfire. Check engine light is not on and we have no codes. So let me go ahead and show you right here. Uh, code. So we're gonna go under memory codes and see what's stored in there. Now I already looked at this. I just want to show you guys. I just want to show you the procedure and uh, what I went through and how we're gonna go about figuring out this misfire. Now a customer says he has an ignition coil for this truck. He says he already did all his spark plugs. So check it out. Pending codes, nothing there. And under memory codes we have nothing all right so the way we go about this is we have to go under generic functions now <clears throat> i've only been able to do this on forge we have to go under mode 6 which is this dollar sign right here so we'll click on that and after this you would have to pick test id 53 now on this truck there is no test id 53 there all the misfire that i'm going to show you right now it's already laid out for you so all you got to do is click on it one by one Click on it one by one. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be looking at. So, for example, here, this is this dollar sign A9. It's misfire number eight, cylinder data, and we're gonna see what's there. So basically, what we're looking at is this. Uh, right here, we have a value of zero for the last ten drive cycles. We have a value of zero for this current drive cycle. We got a minimum and a maximum. I believe that once the value exceeds the maximum, that's when the check engine light is triggered. But right now, cylinder eight, we got nothing. So we have to do this for every cylinder to figure out if we have any kind of value on, a, on any cylinder. So this one right here is cylinder number seven. <coughs> cylinder seven data, we have a value of two for the last 10 drive cycles. And for this current one, we have nothing. So we have something there. All right, this is right now because we just started it, but if I go drive it, this value will be higher. So cylinder seven has a value of two for the last 10 drive cycles. Cylinder six, we're gonna do the same thing for all the cylinders. It's gonna get repetitive, but we got a value of zero, value of zero, and you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it. I went through all the cylinders. They all have a value of zero, except except for cylinder number seven. So here, value of zero and zero, all right. Cylinder four, you guys get the idea. So what you guys gotta do is go under generic functions, and this only works on Fords, at least in my experience. I've only been able to do it on Fords. So you have to go under the mode six. It'll give you all the misfire history, the misfire data, because Having a no check engine light with no memory codes, no pending codes, it's gonna be pretty difficult to um, diagnose this truck. But customer just wants to know which cylinder is misfiring because he has the ignition coil. He's gonna change it himself. And that's it for this one. I'm, I'm just here to diagnose it and give him the information that he wants. If he wants me to put the call in for him, check it afterwards, we'll do it. If not, then that's it for this video. Peace out guys. I'll see you on the next one.